Democratic activist over on CNN, Jake Tapper, had cringe Jean-Pierre on the show yesterday to talk about Biden's age and unpopularity. Press poll finds that most Americans believe that President Biden is too old to be president. The poll looked at 80-year-old President Biden versus 77-year-old Donald Trump. 77% of adults say Biden is too old to be president. 51% of adults say Trump is too old. And if you look at the breakdown by party, Republicans generally don't think of Trump's age as an issue, but both Democrats and Republicans agree Biden is too old. So here's the question. Is the White House worried that questions about President Biden's stamina could ultimately impact whether or not voters will be able to support him for a second term? So I'm going to be careful about 2024. I can't speak to that directly, but... You can talk about the perception well, of the public with the president's stamina I, 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 and his age. I, I'm, I'm happy to talk about okay. that. I get asked that question a lot. Here's the thing, you know, what this president brings to this administration is wisdom and experience. And you and that is just true with as senator, as vice president and now as president. And we just talked about we had a really and I appreciate the conversation that we had on Medicare, the, the 10, the first 10 tranche of, uh, of, of uh, prescription drugs that we just introduced because of the Inflation Reduction Act. And that is the thing that the president is able to do is deliver, really move forward historic pieces of legislation, change the lives of Americans for generations to come. And that is what we focus on, the president's record and what he's been able to do. Look. People have come after the president about his age. They did it in 2019. They did it in 2020, leading into the general election. And they, they did it in 2022. And guess what? He beats them every time because he has his finger on the pulse on what it is that the American people need. He talks about issues that really matter to the American people. And he is delivering. Is there more work to be done? There's always more work to be done. But we are happy to take that on. Certainly not going to talk about 2024. But I, what I can speak to is what the president has been able to deliver day after day for the American people. Okay, so you're part of the 23 percent of adults. <laughs> who is not who are not concerned about the president's ability to be president because of his age and stamina. I got it. That's but, because you got to do is watch but him. But 77%, but 77% of adults are worried. That includes Democrats who are presumably will vote for him. What did you make of it the other day when uh, former ambassador and governor Nikki Haley uh said that President Biden is is I'm paraphrasing here, but something along the lines of, you know, um degrading before our eyes and that ultimately Vice President Kamala Harris will be president in a second term. Look, I, again, I'm not going to respond directly to uh, to uh, Nikki Haley. Uh, not going to do that. Can't do that. Hatch Act. Got to be really mindful and careful here. What I can speak to is look at his record. Look what he has been able to do. We literally just talked about these 10 drugs and, and Medicare being able to uh, negotiate with pharmaceutical companies, which is something that no other, no other politician has been able to do. 33 years that they've been trying to do it. This president made it, made it get, it made it happen. This is a president again. We, and you asked me about Ukraine, right? You asked me about the supplemental funding. He did. He has done something internationally, right, around the world, which is bring our allies and our partners together, especially what we saw after the last administration. This is a president that knows how to get the work done, who is focused on the American people. That's what I will speak to. I'll speak to his record, and his record stands alone, and it is uh, something that Americans should be proud of, something that we all are proud of, on all of the historic amount of let, pieces of legislation. Right, but I'm He's talking about his done. age and his stamina and his ability to do the job, and you're talking about... The record. And I understand why you'd yeah. rather talk about the record, yeah. but I'm talking about what Americans see when they turn on the TV and they see, you know, Joe Biden's been in politics since before, literally since okay. before you were born. Okay. And like that he's he's right. well, well, let's talk, aged. No, well, let's talk about this. as we all do. Let's talk about this. And you all talked about this back when we were uh, when we were when we were uh, marking the one year uh, anniversary, right, the, uh, of, of the war in Ukraine, the unprovoked war by Russia. Mm. What did the president do? He went to Kiev. And he was there with the with the alarms blaring in the back and people were so impressed that he was able to be there and look strong and represent uh, represent the Amer the American people in Kiev uh, in a war zone country. And that's what you saw. I'm not right? saying he's not able to walk. No, but, no, but saying... you're saying, you're... of course, she's just giving you talking points, right? She's nothing. She's just like you could unzip her and inside you would just see nothing because she is just in service to the machine. Everyone, look, it's not specifically about the age, okay? It's about the cognitive situation that clearly has declined.